Hi this is Nariko. Welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to discuss the parts and functions of the computer system, the categories and name of input, output, process, and storage devices, and discuss the data flow of computer hardware. Enjoy learning! A basic computer system consists of both hardware and software components that work together to perform various tasks. Central Processing Unit CPU often referred to as the brain of the computer, the CPU executes instructions from programs and performs calculations. It processes data from input devices and sends it to output devices. Motherboard This is the main circuit board that connects all the components of the computer. It houses the CPU, memory, and provides slots for other components like the graphics card and storage devices. Random access memory RAM RAM is a type of volatile memory that stores data temporarily while the computer is running. It allows the CPU to access data quickly, speeding up processing times. Storage devices, HDD slash SSD, these are where data is permanently stored. Hard disk drives, HDDs, use spinning disks to read slash write data, while solid state drives, SSDs, use flash memory, which is faster and more reliable. Power supply unit, PSU The PSU converts electrical power from an outlet into a usable form for the computer. It provides the necessary voltage and current to each component. Graphics Processing Unit GPU The GPU handles the rendering of images, video, and animations. It is essential for gaming, video editing, and other graphics-intensive applications. Cooling Systems These include fans, heat sinks, and liquid cooling systems that help maintain optimal temperatures inside the computer to prevent overheating. Input Devices These include the keyboard and mouse, which allow users to interact with the computer by providing data and instructions. Output Devices These include monitors and printers, which display or produce the results of the computer's processes. Network Interface Card, NIC This component allows the computer to connect to a network and communicate with other devices. Input Devices are devices that are used to enter data into a computer system. Keyboard, used for typing text and commands. Mouse, a pointing device used to interact with the computer's graphical interface. Scanner, converts physical documents into digital format. Microphone, captures audio input. Webcam, captures video input. Output devices. These devices display or produce the results of computer processing. Monitor, displays visual output from the computer. Printer, produces physical copies of digital documents. Speakers, output audio from the computer. Projector, projects visual output onto a larger screen. Processing devices, are devices that are responsible for processing data and executing instructions. Central Processing Unit CPU executes instructions and processes data. Graphics Processing Unit GPU handles rendering of images and video. Random Access Memory RAM temporarily stores data for quick access by the CPU. Storage Devices are devices that store data and information for long-term use. Hard Disk Drive HDD uses spinning disks to read slash write data. Solid State Drive SSD uses flash memory for faster data access. USB Flash Drive Portable storage device using flash memory. Optical Disks CD DVD store data on disks read by a laser. The data flow in a computer system refers to the movement of data through various components, from input to processing, storage, and output. Here's a breakdown of how data flows through a typical computer system. 1. Input Stage Data flow begins with input devices, which capture data from the user or environment. Input devices Examples include keyboards, mice, scanners, and microphones. These devices convert user actions or external data into digital signals that the computer can process. 2. Processing Stage Once data is captured, it is sent to the Central Processing Unit, CPU, for processing. Central Processing Unit, CPU The CPU executes instructions from programs, performing calculations and data manipulation. It processes data from input devices and sends it to the appropriate components. Random Access Memory, RAM During processing, data is temporarily stored in RAM for quick access by the CPU. This allows for faster processing speeds and efficient multitasking. 3. Storage Stage Process data may need to be stored for long-term use. Storage Devices Data is saved to storage devices such as hard disk drives, HDDs, 
solid-state drives, SSDs, or external storage like USB flash drives. These devices retain data even when the computer is turned off. 4. Output Stage Finally, the process data is sent to output devices to be presented to the user. Output devices. Examples include monitors, printers, and speakers. These devices convert digital signals back into a human-readable or perceivable form, such as text on a screen, printed documents, or audio output. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.